Hey y'all, I just spent $303 at the grocery. Let's see what all I got. So here's what I really spent, $169.34 for everything that you see on the table and the chairs. I definitely shopped the sales this week. They had a really killer deals that I couldn't pass up. So like I said in the car before um, I put in my Kroger card and before all the coupons, it was 303. So that was definitely not in our budget, but let me show you everything that we got. So we just went to Kroger and I'll go ahead and start in the back. They had a really killer sale on these jumbo boxes of cereal. They had um, these for $1.99 a box and you could use the coupon up to three times. So of course I got all three. These are 27 ounces. So I picked up the Honey Nut Cheerios. I got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then I picked up the Cocoa Puffs. So those will go straight into our food storage because we have got cereal in our pantry already. But I could not pass that deal up because those are normally like five or more dollars for the jumbo box. We got some um, crackers, got some wheat thins. This was on sale for $1.99. Everybody raves so much about this brand and I have not actually tried um, this brand before. And so I wanted to give it a try, but I just could not break myself down to pay the price for it. But this was $1.99 for this box. So I thought I would give it a try and see what all the raves about. These were on sale as well. This um, is our favorite Kraft macaroni and cheese pasta. This is the a cauliflower one. This is like really the only one we buy it anymore. And they had these for a dollar a box. So I picked five of those up. Got some English muffins for this week. Um, for this coming week for breakfast. For Luke and I, I got the sourdough English muffins. We got a loaf of the artisan market and meal bread. Y'all already know this is our favorite. Um, and we like all of the um, different flavors. And then the good to know is also our favorite. We got the white in that. And then pantry stable, staple is just flour tortillas. So I picked those up. We were running low on brown sugar and sugar. So I picked one of those each. And I know this week's um, pantry um, stock up item was sugar. And I meant, to, I meant to pick up two bags and I totally forgot. But I also got other stuff this week. So I'm not too worried about it. But um, I know it was sugar this week. We needed some salt. I picked up some cooking spray. I absolutely hate the Kroger brand cooking spray. I hate it. This was cheaper than the Pam, so I just picked up, picked it up. Got some ranch. I picked up some chai tea latte mix. I found a recipe that actually goes, that you use this for, but if I don't like it in the recipe, then I can just have it as a drink itself. So, got that. Picked up some more sprinkle cheese. We got creamy and crunchy peanut butter. Got two cans of pumpkin. All about the pumpkin stuff right now. So y'all definitely be seeing some future pumpkin and fall inspired videos. So got that. Needed some sesame seeds. Y'all, these are so expensive. Found this uh, two ounce container for $2.99. Shoo. Got some sweet chili sauce. 
I picked up some of this Screaming Mimi salsa. I have not had this in years. Um, literally years. I was in college whenever it was introduced to um, uh, me and it is so freaking good. So I found it and picked it up. This is just, this is only a Kentucky Proud product. So you definitely have to be local to me to be able to get this, but it is really good salsa. I picked, I seen these, these were $4.99. Y'all know I have to wear a mask every day. So I just picked that one up to have. It was cute. Picked up some Kool-Aid just to have as well. We got mixed berry, uh, strawberry, kiwi, uh, blue raspberry lemonade, which is really good. And then I got watermelon. So I just got two of each of those. Picked up a brown gravy mix and a chicken gravy mix. Got some baby carrots. Winston's been asking for carrots, so we'll see if he eats them. <laughs> I got five ears of corn. It looked really fresh, and they were 20 cents an ear. And it's really hard for me not to go back and get some to put up. I just don't have the freezer space right now. So well, I just got some just to have for this week. Picked up two zucchinis for a recipe. And then I got an orange pepper and a yellow pepper. We got some more eggs. The butter was on sale for $1.99, so I picked up two. One will go in the freezer, and then one will be for us to have in the fridge. Got four things of crescent rolls, and then I picked up some cheese. The cheese was on sale for $1.88 a bag, so I got pizza blend, mozzarella, cheddar jack, and then a block of the Colby Jack for me to have for cheese cubes at work this week. Got some more of our favorite tater rounds. I picked up some old-fashioned oats. I have a couple recipes coming up that call for um, oats. I got a four-pack of the sweet golden corn. They have these four-packs at Kroger, and this is called like the build the big deal four-pack. And they're I think two nineteen, which it makes it I think like forty cents cheaper than buying four individual ones. So I picked that up. We got some of our favorite almond milk. And then we got a half gallon of milk because we have a half gallon already in the fridge. So I just went ahead and picked that one up. We got some cheese puffs for Winston. Got a two liter of Dr. Pepper and then a two liter of regular Sprite. They were out of my Sprite ginger, which is so sad. Of course, we had to get a light. Luke is headed back from um, South Dakota. So that's all he's talked about every time I've talked to him is that he is so excited to have an LA because of course they don't have those. Those are only local. And then they had the Purdue chicken, pretty good deals this week. They had the chicken breast for buy one, get one free. So I paid $5.71 and I got both packs because they were both $5.71. So just buy one, get one free. And then they had these, which I've never used before. These are just the chicken breast diced. And they were on sale for um, $1.99 a pound. So I got this one for $2.65 and then this one for $2.53. I've never used those, but it's gotta be good. And it was a really good deal because originally this package was $6. 64 so couldn't pass that up so those will go in the freezer and then the best deal of this whole grocery haul is this half of a ribeye so they actually had this deal a few weeks back and we got one but i don't think we hauled it because we just went on a whim so it wasn't like in a grocery haul but they had the sales they had the same deals again they had the individual ones where you could get like a three pack for like 20 some dollars or you could get this whole half of a ribeye for, this one was $56.34, originally $136.94. So this is a killer, killer deal. If you have that money, I know that's a big chunk, but if you have it, like look how big this thing is. We're gonna get so many steaks out of this. It's, it's amazing. Um, even if you got two packs of the three like this is still a better deal you're going to be paying the same price for three steaks when you can get double that amount here so if you have it definitely go and get it 
Um, and they'll cut it for you, but Luke said he'll just cut it and because they and they were pretty busy so he'll cut it we'll freeze it and then just have them already made up in the freezer so we're excited about those picked up some turkey sausage uh, breakfast sausage for um, my breakfast sandwiches and then i got this big 10 pound bag of potatoes for 2.99 also a really good deal so i definitely shopped the deals this week as i told y'all that is your best way to find stuff on sale um, when you like see stuff like that, get it. If you can afford it, definitely get it. And if you can afford to do like the limit, like the limit on the cereal was three boxes. So I went ahead and got all three boxes. I don't want to lose out on that deal. If you have that extra money, just like the chicken was buy one, get one free. I know a few people that go to the stores and see those buy one, get one free deals, but then they don't pick up the free item. Like, They'll buy the one for that price, and but then they won't pick up the, you know, the buy one and get one free. Like, um, say like your hot dogs are buy one, get one free, but you only pick up one pack, you're losing a whole free, a free pack of hot dogs or, you know, a free pack of cheese or something that you can put back in the freezer. That's one thing I don't understand about people shopping the buy one get one free deals if you don't pick up that second deal you're losing money that one item might be cheaper but you know what like on your meal plan if you had the hot dogs on your meal plan and you see that pack of hot dogs for you know on sale for a dollar 99 but buy one get one free why would you just pick up the one pack of hot dogs for dollar 99 when you can get a whole pack of hot dogs for free and you can put it up in your freezer and have it for another meal, for a next meal plan when, you know what I'm saying? Like that's free food that you're just throwing away if you have the room and have the money to do those kind of deals. So let's get some of this put up into our food storage and I'll show you what the update on it. And that is everything. And then I'll share the meal plan as well. So in case you missed the past two grocery hauls, I'll have them listed in the description box below so you can see uh, weekly updates for food storage. And then the first grocery haul video is just like an overview of the food storage itself, why I'm doing it, good habits. And then it also has the Google Docs, um, but I'll have all that in the description box. So we've just added in our five pastas of macaroni five pastas, five boxes of uh, macaroni. And then I went ahead and put the cereal up top because we have cereal already in the pantry that's open. So we won't need those for a little bit, but here it is. Update, I still have not got in here and went through the boxes, but here it is. So let's get into the grocery haul, or the grocery haul. I can't talk, Winston. Let's get to the meal plan.
Okay, y'all, so you've seen me organize my pantry. The biggest thing was down here. Um, I just took and pulled all this out. I had this um, bucket here that has the flour in it. I bought um, a big bag of flour from Sam's like months and months ago. So what's left of it is in there, which I'm gonna move it back to the food storage room. And I had some other things I wanted to take back there as well. That's why I wanted to like really get in here and clean this out. So I've left my shopping bags in there for easy access. And then I just have um, my potatoes, sweet potato and stuff like that. I'm gonna get um, a mat to go underneath that. That way, if something ever gets yucky, then it's not gonna spoil the carpet. So don't worry, I will have that covered up underneath there. Um, and then I really keep my pantry organized the same way every time. Canned goods kinda all together pasta, dry goods, um, and then we have like the snack shelf and like crackers. Um, I do have a loaf of bread that I need to put in there. And then it's like breakfast and condiment items. Um, I have our juices there as well. And then um, one of the reasons why I love keeping um, track and having an organized pantry is to know that I had a bottle and I didn't have to buy one this week. So I now have two bottles of ranch, which is fun. I go through my ranch and then up here is like all my baking um, goods, cake mixes, sprinkles. Um, these two cubbies right here have like chocolate, nuts, um, and stuff like that in it. And then I've got oils and then my powdered sugar, sugar, all purpose flour, self rising flour, um, brown sugar. Y'all see me refill those containers. So I have all that up there and then there's also nuts in here as well. This is all the stuff from Nut Stop um, that we have been going through. And so there's like nuts and chocolates and everything like that. But I've just kept all that together in one bin. But I'll have their information linked in the description box. And I do have a coupon code. So y'all can go over and check them out. Uh, we've used several of their products. I've used them in recipes. We've used them to take as um, part of our lunches. And we love them. So I'll have their information listed so y'all can see that. But this pretty much just the basic layout. I'm trying to decide if I wanna go ahead and move those to the food storage room 
Um, because my plan is, is to have appliances, food storage, and all that in one room. We have an extra room, and so I'll, that's my idea. So I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and do that, and then like move this stuff up a shelf. Because I do have an extra, um, I do have an extra one of these, but it does make it a little bit more difficult to get in that shelf. But um, I might be able to like at least move like these tubs and stuff up there where it's easy access and then I have more of a shelf to put more of just like the random baked goods like oatmeal and you know kind of stuff like that but right now all that stuff's gonna stay up there um, but I am going to move this in there and then I did move my KitchenAid in there and um, we'll just like, go on back there oh, this thing's heavy What are you doing? <laughs> okay. So like I said in my grocery haul, this room is a mess. I've not, um, I need to go through these boxes. So bad, I just have not. Um, so I'm gonna move this flower back here. So I have it, cause that container I have in the pantry is full. So I'll put this on one of the shelves. And then I just have like the start of our food storage, which I've been starting. And um, this is like week three, I think. So, um, and then I want to put, this is what I was talking about. If I, if I wanna go ahead and bring those appliances in here because I've got my crock pot, I'm gonna bring my cassori cooker in here um, in just a second. And then I've got like my KitchenAid. We'll have the flour, so I mean, I can bring all the other appliances in here and have a shelf just for appliances. So I might decide that later on, but this is what's gonna be my food storage room slash my little office. Um, okay, Cause this room has our deep freeze in it. And so it's just so much easier. Like I said in another video, Kat made such a good point when I was talking to her about it, like just to keep everything together and keep it on regular floor level. Like we have an upstairs, and that was my whole plan, was to put all my food storage upstairs. But she made such a good point as keeping it all together. And so we have this extra room down here. I was gonna make it just my office and like craft area, but I don't really need a big craft area, especially since I'm working now, I don't have time to do all that. So I just need a desk to edit and everything, which as y'all see, clearly I don't edit on this desk. <laughs> um, but I'll get it together eventually, but this will be our food storage room. I do plan on getting another shelf here, and that way I'll probably move all the appliances on that shelf and then have these shelves just for food, so. But that is it. That's the game plan. And that's my pantry clean out. He's a goof. Hi. But. I gotta move this back there. I gotta take this back there. This is extra. Um, I don't have room for. And so that's pretty much it. I went through, got a lot of stuff that was expired or stale, needed to throw away. But that is it. Okay, y'all, so here is the meal plan. We have got ribeye steaks. It's, it is Monday. I was like, wait, it's actually Sunday, but it is Monday. So we're doing ribeye steaks with baked potatoes and then I made some homemade yeast rolls. We're gonna do um, some honey sesame chicken with some fried rice. And then I'm gonna do like some thin cutlet, um, fried chicken cutlets with mashed potatoes, corn, and gravy. And then I'm gonna do Swiss chicken casserole. And then um, just do like the regular, my beet, ground beef tater tot casserole. It's been a long time since we had that. And then I've got meatball subs or just plain meatballs. This is, was rolled over from not this past week, but the previous week. So I I'm just can't decide if I wanna do subs or just like meatballs and spaghetti. So we'll see, but that is the game plan. I hope y'all enjoyed this grocery haul and meal plan. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Please comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see y'all later. Bye guys.